Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson, to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen. Can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Come on, boy. Good to see you, Miss McFarland.
be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch.
Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. Can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel mouth bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, you see those vultures? Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Come on. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Come on! Let's stay on this road. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just for plain me. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're poor. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people, especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. I can see more vultures up ahead. We best take a look, boys. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Leather boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. 
wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's search the area. Shed's clear, Marshal. that door now. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Enjoy this! All right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Oh, thank God! Stay close! Oh, God damn! Get into that house right now! 
can make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Shed, when the coast is clear, there'll be a deputy waiting for you. Stay with me! Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. I'm the goddamn law. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes man up boy we gotta get after those bandits all right let's find those bastards Ooh, let's there. go They might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal. What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's the need for Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we move back. Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! We'll make our stand here. Stay in cover and watch your head. My God. She's still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. 
Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail.